Oh, I know we're short on time and I, and I want to st uh, honour your schedule. Um, there's just, if we can, there's one more topic I'd like to touch on before you leave. Um, it's, a, it's been a big topic already at the start of 2021. It is big tech with censorship and banning even the most powerful people in the world. Obviously, the, the president at the time. Do you think that these private companies have, one, the right and two, the responsibility to monitor what can and cannot be said on their platform? or is that a direct threat to free speech? Well, what I would say is that free speech is paramount. And the fact that our speech is now so thoroughly online means that the protections have to, in one way or another, extend to the online environment. That said, I don't relish the position of the online platforms. As much as I find their behavior to be despicable, the job that they have to do um, uh, in terms of deciding what it is that crosses the line and can't be present is not an enviable one. So I believe we have to have government step in, set the boundary, and protect our rights to speak. The rules for what may be said on the platform have to be transparent. There has to be the equivalent of a court that adjudicates claims that something has crossed the line. You have to be in a position to see the evidence against you. All of those protections that we Americans are so used to deriving from our constitution have to be extended into the new uh, online world. And my fear is because government in the US has been so thoroughly captured by powerful economic interests that it will be impossible for anything um, as uh, wise as the Constitution to be generated for the online environment because there will effectively be a feeding frenzy in which those with great power seek to uh, amplify it and jockey for position with each other in creating rules that give them further advantage. And the, the last one from me, so going into 2021 right now, we just spoke about big tech. Do you think these guys at the head of these big tech companies like Jack at Twitter, can we probably consider them the most powerful people in the world now, even more so than politicians? Um, I do think they are the most powerful people in the world, which doesn't necessarily mean that they are wielding that power at full strength yet, but I believe they have it at their disposal. And... Um, if they are wise, they will recognize that they don't want it, that the responsibility of having that kind of power when they have simply normal levels of human insight and wisdom is frightening. And, you know, unfortunately, what we don't have is uh, a group of founding father-like uh, people who we agree to collectively listen to and you know the original american founders sweated the details because the details mattered and they knew it and they were exemplary in putting their own interests aside in having those discussions and that's just simply not the culture we have now so in addition to not having uh, the kinds of uh, transparency, the deliberative bodies that allowed the founders to create a document like the Constitution. What we have are um, tiny secret cabals that decide all of our fate based on the fact that somebody said something that sounded clever and uh, somebody put it up on the whiteboard.